My fingers are all sticky. Guess what I've been doing? Get your mind out of the gutter. It's honey. We're making mead today. Shit, I think I got honey all over the floor. <laughs> I just said, yes, Something cool happened. I want to introduce you to uh, my other guest. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, I know <laughs> what that is. Yeah. I'm doing a collaboration with Brian and Derica over at the City Steading Channel. I'm, I'm super excited to actually get to do this collaboration with you guys because I've been such a fan of your channel for such a long time and getting to actually work with you guys and talk with you and collaborate on this stuff is really super fun for me. So I'm kind of glad that we're gonna we're gonna tie our channels together just a tiny little bit. And uh, my email program keeps putting you in spam. <laughs> well, I am spam worthy. So they do all kinds of great stuff. If you haven't seen their channel, you definitely want to check them out. I'm gonna put links for them down below, and occasionally I'm gonna have some pop-up links up here in the corner. They do mead and cider and wine, and a lot of times. They'll do stuff that has been tickling around in the back of my brain for a couple of years that I haven't even tried yet. And I'll be like, oh, you beat me to it. <laughs> but what's cool is that then I can go and watch their video and start my research there. They're a fantastic resource. They're a really cool couple. I really enjoy their channel. So I hope you guys will check them out too. So what I'm doing today is... <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Sorry, dog break. So what I'm gonna do today is something I've been wanting to try for a long time, a methylene. Dude, methylene, how hard is that? And that's basically just a mead that has spices in it. The combination of spices we're gonna use today is very much holiday spices. I'm not gonna go into any detail about this. I'm gonna show you the ingredients and throw this thing together because Brian and Derek already give a lot more detail into this recipe than I'm going to. I'll put a link for their how-to right up here if you want some more detail on this recipe. I've got a cup of black tea for a tannin, stick of cinnamon, two cloves, six allspice berries, 30 raisins for flavor, and we chop those up so that they release all their delicious flavor instead of keeping it in the raisin. We've got about a teaspoon of orange zest. We're gonna use Lalvin 71B. This is a, a much faster fermenting recipe than a lot of meads. Some of them take several years before they actually taste good. I just don't have the patience. One of the things that Brian mentioned for his recipe is using yeast hulls. I couldn't find straight yeast hulls on Amazon, so I got this. So let's go ahead and get this thing thrown together. Oh, <laughs> the honey. I've got uh, four pounds of honey. We're only gonna use three and a half pounds. I've got it sitting in a sink full of really hot water to help it flow a lot better into my jug. All right, let's get going. So I get a lot of questions on my cider videos. How much yeast do you use? Um, everybody thinks you use a whole packet for a gallon of cider. No, you don't. You use like a fifth of a packet because one of these packets does five gallons. But for this recipe, we're using a whole packet. Brian and Derek already talk about that in their video, but I want to reiterate, we're using a whole packet of yeast so that we can pitch heavy so that this mead gets off to a roaring start. So, uh, whole packet. One point zero four zero is actually a lower final gravity than what Brian and Derica got, and I think that's probably due to the honey. Um, they had 
orange blossom honey and you know mine was just from this local area it wasn't a specific varietal but anyway honey has unfermentables in it that's just the way it is and theirs may have had a little more I took a took a sample and it is surprisingly drinkable now it's very sweet but the spices the kind of Christmassy spices are really prevalent not overpowering at all I'm getting the allspice and cinnamon and man it's really good and you can see it's got a nice kind of golden color remember the yeast hulls that we put in there with that uh, yeast energizer according to Brian that is what actually helps to uh, pull some of the nasty flavors that you get with a mead that end up requiring meads to take so long to mature like a year sometimes two but um, yeah like I said this one's ready now but I'm gonna go ahead and rack it into another clean jug let it sit for at least a week and then we'll uh, put it into some jars and with some wood to age it up and send it to them so that they can try it out all right let's go All right, so I'm just gonna let that sit for about a week and see if it clears any more. May not be the prettiest mead, but it'll definitely be tasty. So the mead is as clear as it's gonna get. I uh, forgot about it over the holidays, so uh, it's been sitting for about a month and a half. Yeah, clear as mud. So what's the next stage in the experiment? Well, um, I'm gonna stick my wood in it. So I've got um, a little less than a gallon and I've got six pint jars and two half pint jars now i'm going to put a selection of wood pieces down into the jars so that brian and derica have exactly the same thing that i'm going to have so we're going to do three types of wood and the small jar is going to be for the control sample the plain sample so i'm just going to get these siphoned down into the jars with the wood and then let them age for another i don't know two or three months so we're going to do cherry wood European chestnut, some white oak with a bourbon barrel char level on it, pretty deep char on it. All right, so now I've got everything done. It's in a box and it is on the way to Brian and Derica down where they are at the City Steading Channel. But before I ship it off, I want to thank all of these folks right down here, all of my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much for encouraging me to do this collaboration. I really appreciate it. It was such a great idea and I had so much fun working on it. So thank you guys a million. So when that gets there, they'll be able to do the tasting. And if you want to see the tasting video, go right up here to this link so that you can see how this all turned out. So now that it's on its way to them, hopefully it arrives safely. Cross your fingers. I've got a transporter out in my garage. Oh, that's a I'm, I'm almost done. Almost done putting it together. Um, I've had some trouble with EPS conduits. Sorry, I got to throw a little Star Trek in there every once in a while. <laughs> all right before we get too deep into nerding let me uh thank you guys one more time for uh showing up well, for you, with me on this hopefully i'll be sending you some delicious things and um not a bunch of crap in jars that you don't want to drink you know that we'll be honest either way i i do i do know that <laughs> Perfect. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> specimen number one plain Number two. Toasted cherry. Yeah. And number three. Something chestnut. Oak. 